What is going on guys, Kazakusaka here and welcome back to XCOM. I've got a bit of explaining to do. Um, after uh, just When I finished recording episode 4, I found out that XCOM uh, Pavonis Interactive had released Long War 2. And as such, uh, mo most of the mods that I was using were kind of redundant because they're now in Long War 2. So I've had to revamp my entire mod set. And so we'll be starting from the beginning. The previous four episodes are like a prologue of sorts. This has given me the opportunity to add a couple, a, a couple more people from Facebook. You got the Lone Observer here. Uh, you got Saffron North here in some pretty sort of punk clothing. Pretty nice. He's even got the tears down the side here. And you got Candice, the pink hair and the cool armor. And we got Squishy, who looks all druidic and fire elementally casty stuff. Which is great, because hopefully we can make her into a site operative. Actually, I can force that, I think, if I go into soldier class. That's a lot of shit. Uh, site operative? Um, yeah. So what we'll do is... Load back up to here, Long War 2. We'll go for Rookie. Um, yep. Enable Iron Man. We'll turn. I've got. We'll turn those off. Because I don't want to have to do any extra missions on the Not necessarily needing to. Are you going to skip that? Oh, that's new. This is new. We've got eight people to start with. That's worry. That's awesome. Uh, and kind of worrying because if I've got eight straight away, I gate crusher, ambush, and advent troop column. Let's see if we know recognize anyone. We've got Reese over there. I can't, right? can't see anyone else because how dark it is. And there's another dude back there, but who? Who? Barosan! We have Barosan, Dak, we have Reese. And we'll, fit, we'll click through the rest when we get into the actual game. This loading screen is very nice, I like it. I like it more than the Avenger. Uh, the Sky Ranger. Same thing. Uh, you, we, all know, we both know what I meant. Hopefully. Okay, so, again, for those of you who've not watched, every character that's not one of these random created. Schmucks gets three lives. Every time they die, I find the next random schmuck and replace them. Generally means that you will end up may end up playing three classes, or may end up just run. You, if you and once you die three times, you're dead. That's it. Ah, we've got the captain. We've got Theras. Luke. Uh, so we got my, yeah, we got like the LARP squad. Going straight in. Seems to be loading smooth, like playing. I don't know about playing yet. But it seems to be a lot smoother in terms of loading. He says that. Now it starts like. That's very different. So we've got Eren, we've got Zoe, yep, hi Zoe, um, Reese, myself, Vermillion, Thera, Mark, Barosan, and the Captain. Great, um, so the enemy is going to be up ahead, so we'll get someone headed there now. Starting with flashbang grenades is actually quite concerning. Quick look at the um, other options. Long War 2. Mm -hmm. 
I wanted to put that on. So you get a flashbang and a frag at the start for every character. This is both the blessing and a curse. Yeah, so we've kind of got like the old guard. Now please stand up. The show must continue. <laughs> we don't want it. Come on. The less we can lose, the better. Roger, I'm on it. You've got the full Japanese voice. Stay on the okay, so that's 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 the first turn. We st the fact we're starting with eight squad. There is okay. So there's some. There's a drone. Two troopers the and an officer. Officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Headed there now. Let's slow and steady. Working our way sort of up. How is that sprinting? That was barely anything. Good copy. Moving on target. Heading to that location. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. I'm fire at the officer. Oh, he's grazed him. Has been revealed. Now let's we'll watch them scatter. Nothing so far. Oh yes, there's one down. Is the officer down? That's the most annoying one aside from the old fucking drone over there. Because the drone's like and stun and destroyed. It's actually just going to take a shot and miss. That was a different graphic to normal. I like this. I've done a lot for the long war. Oh, Overwatch. And I'll graze him. That graze ban. Grazing seems a lot more awkward. Oh! So he's dodged it. I can't move. So we're being flanked. Moving to position. So, Aaron, you're going to move up. Oh! Protected from cover. More advent forces. Gunners, engineers on the first gut. So I'm going to throw that so I can shred its armor at least. Did the job. Now we can get people moved up and engaged. That I've not hit a solid shot yet. Why am I grazing so hard? Turn that down a little bit. See if that does anything. I'm moving. I'm going to be able to throw a grenade there, so I'll take the turn to reload. I know it's one shot, but that will make a difference. I'm 
just gonna drop the frag grenade and finish him. Not really worried worry about wasting time. Just need to get this next squad dealt with. 26%. Open fire. Ooh, we made it! Full, full hit. No kill, purely based on the fact that. So he's going to sir. sorry, he's going to shuffle up. Captain, that's already blown up so he doesn't have to worry about, can he get a grenade down range? No, which means I'm going to have him. Flashbangs, ooh. That all, oh there was a kill over there. Bang. Oh. RIP anyone's eyes. On the off chance they decide to try and get closer, yeah, she can just and hope. We can hope. I think I need some help. That gunner is vicious. Taking heavy fire. I think I'm bleeding. It's down to one health. Too close to the heat. Sixteen percent, and he grazes it. Why is he starting to hang now? We get you across there. Going up will give us a drop on them. If I watch on the off chance of it. Saras is gonna hop. Still can't get a grenade in range. Nope. Miss. I wanna try and take as many them out as quickly as possible. Baros. Into the full cover. You can't move very far for some reason. There we go, that's what we need. Frag. Two kills, one left. Captain's moving up. 22, hopefully it works. I love the fact that they're, the enemy are disoriented, yet yeah, everything's still missing. Yeah, okay, sprinting up is gonna help get her into the fight. Nice and slow. Okay, so he's no longer disoriented. So he's running away. See if you can fire away. Nope. But you can still you can see him. Hey, get back here. Let's get you in a cover there. It also means we get to pick up that loot. Auto loader. Zoe up top as well. But eight troops at the start has surprised me. I mean, it's a lot more than I was. I was expecting six. We better get moving. 
need to keep taking shots and hope and pray we get him. I've got him! I've made the shot! And there's still more enemies. I do like this flashbang and frag, but you only get one of each mission. On your order. Scanning. No need to ask twice. No fifth Okay, so they've made a side zombie. Which means we know there's a sectoid. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to find control for now. And now. Um, they're pretty easy to hit from a distance. I say that and then completely fucking miss. That's that dealt with. Copy that. My only concern is that that means I know there's a sectoid around there, but I don't know Roger, where. And get Vermillion up ahead to have a look. You should just die. Okay, so this they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Moving to position. Ferris is gonna go there. Can you hit him with a grenade? You can at least shred the armor. Grenade! Shred the armor, kill it. That does the job. Watch bang over the top. It's a Saurian Heading out. Take the shot, Captain. That did help. That does help. Got so he's going covered. down. What? Oh. I've got myself on Overwatch, so I feel like to get out of the way. He's missing. Barros just took that. Positive confirmation. And survived. Oh, I nearly killed my own dude. Okay. We killed 11 troop uh, enemies. This is a great start, ladies and gentlemen. Barros took, dealt the most, moved the most. Reese made the most shots, and Aaron was the most under fire. We did good. We did good. Very good. We did amazing, actually.
There we go. That first mission was a success. I like the fact that it's an ambush rather than just uh, always an objective of some sort. It's just kill them, get rid of them all. And if that's a light column, like a vulnerable column of 11, this is going to get a lot more serious. The Sky Ranger's loaded back in the lock room. It's just these hang those hangs in combat I'll see if I can fix. And we've returned. So we've got Vermilion over here is... Specialist. Yep. He's got the aid protocol hay haywire. Yep. Cool. Kitsune, gunner, area suppression. Knife fighter. When did they get a knife? He's got a knife! Area suppression. Uh, Aaron, grenadier. You just get a grenade launcher at the pants. Zoe is our shinobi. <laughs> like full ninja. I'm a sharpshooter. Hollow target. Never seen that before. And you got old Theras back there who is a assault. He's got an arc thrower built in and a running gun. And you got Barosan is a technical. He gets heavy weapons. Flamethrowers and rocket launchers. And you got Captain Pupil is a ranger. So he gets a sawn off shotgun. What? How was that a thing? So I've got the auto loader, Advent Officer Corp, supplies, troops, alloys, Illyrian crystals. I didn't get a sectoid corpse because explosions. Oh well. Uh, Barros is evidently shaking. Shake so we have. Okay. That's our resistance. Commander to the research labs. Leave that for now because I don't understand that. We'll have to look into it. And to the research labs. We saw that in the last time. So we want to research. Do we want resistance comms? Yeah, so we'll go for resistance comms. I do find that. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. So that's some rare gear that I'm not going to touch just yet. Uh, build facilities, do we have any space? There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. I'm gonna go for the AWC straight away. Start work on the new facility right away, Commander. Because that grants us the ability to reduce the time. So we'll go to the bridge, speak to the captain. Yep, and we'll go in, zoom, and be like, whoop. Black market. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. So we fly over there and we'll investigate. start our scans on the surrounding area. Commander, the Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. So I'm going to recruit the scientist Thank you and the engineer you straight away for cool for back. free. I will make sure they are put to good. Use. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. You can use these to rush. Re you can use Intel to rush research. Selling stuff. Oh, okay. So I 
have to go back to Resistance HQ. Why is it decided that going over there is important? God damn it, where am I? So if we return to the Haven. Setting course for the South African sector. Until something other else comes up. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively We're gonna go for it. Them. And everything's gonna go right. It will be to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Good luck. We don't have fatigue anymore, which is good. Okay, so there's a lot of different new shit. So if I were to go, yeah, for example, if I take her... your sword. The ability to slash and then do something is very useful. Got two rookies at the back. There's a squad management system. I'm going to make sure at least two people in the mission have a medkit. I'll make sure our um, squad of a million here has one. We're going to go in. I am loving Long War 2 right now. It's amazing. Alright, so start infiltration. So the. Oh, that's new! So now they're gonna slowly infiltrate. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. As it is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. So, okay, so since the other squad are all on mission, I'm going to take everyone to this. So we're one, we're one person short of a We'll go for seven so our squad fits. And they're gonna start infiltration as well. This infiltration stuff is scary. It's like Figure shit out. There's a lot of difference. A lot, lot different to XCOM 2, the original. So they're going to start infiltration.
I am sure you will We've finished the, the resistance comms research. <laughs> Go for modular weapons. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. So, the outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. We can now use the proving ground to build a lot of new shit. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. Oh, we've got an unstaffed engineer that's been doing nothing the entire time. Whoop! Whoops, a daisies! Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Hey, Commander. I'm tempted to get one of the, those that I used to call them, call them the hidden weapons. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. So if we have, you should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. We've done what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Yes, there's a lot of new shit that we're gonna have to get used to, and it's gonna take us quite a few, some times to do it. Okay, so we can um, we can just recruit random people now. Tracer. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll call that episode here. We zoom back out to the Avenger. And so we'll scroll along, and we'll hopefully you'll join us for next episode two. Um, I'm having a lot of fun exploring with the new shit. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun watching me exploring the shit. Thank you, Avenger. Thank you. Anyway, we'll see you guys next episode. Vigilo Confido.